Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you over 20 different ways to get electrical parts in 7 days to die. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Hope y'all enjoy. Big man. <laughs> all right so the first one on the list is the flashlight you can get three electrical parts if you scrap it the reason i put it first is because this one and the next one are the only two that don't require a wrench all right so the next one's going to be the trader you can buy electrical parts from the trader i don't see any point in buying electrical parts from them but if you want to you can so before I start on the ones that require a wrench to get electrical parts, I want to say that you can get a wrench from under a sink or you can unlock it with your skill points. I usually find it under a sink or in a toolbox or in the hardware store. And I want to add that the number of electrical parts that I get from each of these objects might differ a little from what you get. So let me use the coffee maker for an example. You can go up to it, use the wrench on it and get two electrical parts the first time. And then you go to another coffee maker and you get four electrical parts the next time. These numbers that I get are just supposed to give you a general idea of how many electrical parts you can get. All right, so from this coffee maker, I get two electrical parts. And you've got 22 iron from it too. They got the microwave. I got four electrical parts from it. You can find the microwave in the coffee maker in houses or buildings. The refrigerator. I got eight electrical parts from it. And you find the refrigerator in the same place that you would find the microwave in the coffee maker. Usually in the kitchen analog clock I got three electrical parts from the analog clock got the washing machine only got one electrical part from the washing machine I'm pretty sure they usually give more than that the light bar the light bar gave me six electrical parts I got the four and then the two right there. The hanging light, four electrical parts from the hanging light. And I actually got that other one right next to it after, and it only gave me two electrical parts. The lamp got three electrical parts from the lamp. The one right there, there's another one. And there's a third one, and I got five iron from it. The standing lamp got three electrical parts from it. You can find these lights anywhere, just about anywhere. Got three from that one and five iron. The wall lamp got four electrical parts from it. These lights are really good for electrical parts. Five scrap iron. The computer, three electrical parts from the computer, 16 iron, the Q beam light, I got three electrical parts from it, now there's two right there, and there's a third one, breaker boxes, I found this one on the outside of a house, I got five from it, and 10 iron vehicles you can find vehicles everywhere if you're having a problem finding vehicles I don't know what to tell you and you get all kind of stuff from the vehicles too you get gasoline mechanical parts electrical parts 
headlights, all kind of stuff. Iron. Got one right there. Got a second one right there. Yeah, it gave me metal pipe too, spring. And there's a third one right there. Scrap poly. Flat screen TVs. I got four electrical parts from that one. And five scrap polymer. The table lamp. All the lamps. I got two from this table lamp and five iron. The lantern. Find these on the outside of houses. Got one right there. Gotta get a little stamp. There's another one right there. And there's the third one right there. The light pole. The light pole actually gives you steel ingots too. So that's pretty good. And you get a ton of electrical parts, seven from it and 12 iron. So if you see them light poles, hit them up. Trash compactor, only got one from it. One's better than none though. And I got a mechanical part. These electrical panels. If you find a group of, a group of these, Hit them all up. These things are great for electrical parts. A lot of time you'll find them in group. Oh shit! All right, that's all I got, guys. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more Seven Days to Die content, I'm gonna be making a lot more. So consider subscribing. Thank y'all for watching, especially those of you who made it towards the end. I hope to see y'all on the next one. Peace.